Before Instagram was popping and before sugar baby sites even came to exist, a lot of women were struggling to make ends meet, okay? A lot of women were working, you know, to barely even cover their bills. They're working jobs that they hate, can't stand. They're in situations that they hate and can't stand. You know, a lot of women are struggling. They're broke. You know, they may not have a reliable family to help them out and stuff like that. And you see a lot of women um, resorting to prostitution and stripping in order order to make extra income, okay? And it was almost at this same point, right, that you started to see the first real sugar baby come into the scene, and that is Anna Nicole Smith and when she got with this billionaire, okay? Um, a lot of people were shocked over this relationship. Um, a lot of people criticized her over this relationship, but a lot of women saw how strategic a beautiful woman can move when it comes to her looks because we know that men value us based on our looks, okay? And therefore, we should value them based on their money. That was the lesson that was put out here for us young girls to see, okay? This was probably the first time I saw a real sugar baby in action was Anna Nicole Smith, okay? And of course, um, she ended up getting extremely famous and wealthy, because she got with this very rich and old man. Um, we see this being repeated with Hugh Hefner and his um, Playboy bunnies, okay? And at this time, like, it is starting to become more socially acceptable now, okay? And um, Hugh Hefner and the Playboy bunnies kind of normalized it. They even had their own TV show, you know? And... Um, you see more and more younger women with older men and, you know, it's starting to be put into the American psyche that this is normal. This is uh, completely acceptable. If you are a young woman and you're looking for a rich old man, guess what? You can now do that because now we have sugar daddy sites. OK, now the term sugar daddy has existed all the way back into the 1920s, but the term sugar baby is relatively new. It came up around roughly, I want to say early 2000s to mid 2000s. OK, is when you start to see the boom of sugar daddy, sugar baby websites. It seems too good to be true, but a lot of women go for this. Right. They're like, yeah, I want to see what this sugar baby is about. I'm seeing women holding designer bags, not having to pay for anything like sitting here on shopping sprees. And at this time, this is when Instagram starts to kick in. OK, and a lot of these women are showing off all of these things that other men bought for them. Wealthy men bought for them. OK, so. It's like you see these women on private jets, jet setting across the world, you know. It's just like they seem to have these impossibly perfect lives, you know what I mean? And all they have to do is just be sweet and be nice and be cute. And men are just going to throw money at them and they don't have to do anything at all, okay? When we see this movement of Instagram models traveling the world, living this fine, high-class life, this pushes that sugar baby narrative that all you have to be is beautiful enough and that's all it takes in order to have wealthy men throwing money at you for no reason at all, okay? And then we see an influx of Instagram models hanging out with Saudi royalty. Dubai is absolutely stunning. It is the home of the most billionaires, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's a very wealthy place, okay? And that is when the shit hits the fan, literally and figuratively. That is when we start hearing stories of what these sugar babies and these Instagram models are doing for their large sums of cash, okay? And we start to see videos and photos of them coming out, sitting here with poop on their faces and videos getting leaked of them getting pooped on and all kind of disgusting stuff. So it really blows the lid off of the sugar baby life, Instagram model lifestyle.
I want to talk about the influx of sugar babies trying to merge in with the divestment movement. Now, as a divested black woman, I'm going to say this. I do not support prostitution and illegal activities. But if you want to sell your body for cash, then you can go ahead and do so. I want a white man who is highly respected in his community and highly accomplished. Okay. I want a white man as a husband, not a sugar daddy. Okay. And I want a white man that I can build a family with, okay, and be a respectable wife and a mother of his children. Those are things that can't be bought with money, okay? Respect is something that's earned. And a lot of you raggedy bitches have the nerve to sit there and call divestors dating bottom shelves. You're dating men who pay for sex. You can't get no fucking bottom shelf than that. You have to be a fucking degenerate. To purchase a woman's body so you can use it for sex. I do not want you to be my boyfriend. I don't want you to be my husband. I don't even want you to be my friend. Okay? I don't hang out with people like that. I don't want people like that in my life. But a lot of you raggedy bitches have the nerve to call our respectable brads bottom shelf. Bitch, there's nothing bottom shelf about a man. Who wants to settle down and have only one woman in his life? Okay? There's nothing bottom shelf about a man that doesn't cheat, doesn't buy hookers. Okay? What's bottom shelf is what the fuck y'all settle for. Just for a bag. If you think that divesters and sugar babies are dealing with the same type of white men, you are sadly fucking mistaken. Okay? This creep right here, was not only sexually abusing underage black girls, he was selling them off into the black market. He was taking these young black girls and selling them into the sex slave market, okay? So don't come up here thinking that, oh, divestors are the same as sugar babies, y'all are gold diggers, and y'all, bitch, we're not dealing with the same groups of men, Okay? We are not dealing with the same groups of white men. My white man does not sleep with no underage girls. He don't prostitute them out, pimp them out and all this shit, give them drugs and shit. I don't deal with derelicts. But you sugar babies will and think that you got to come up and think that you're fucking divested or you can sit in divested tables and you can't because you're dealing with fucking derelict groups of men, okay? So this creep was accused of sleeping with a bunch of underage black girls and selling them off into the black market, okay? Human trafficking, sex trafficking. That is what this man was involved in. And guess what? This young lady right here is one of his alleged victims. And guess what she did? She killed him, okay? She said she didn't mean to do it, but she ended up taking this man's life, all right? And this case is absolutely notorious, all right? Because it highlights how young black girls are easily preyed upon by these Johns and by these sugar daddies. We have Louis Vuitton. That is not how you pronounce Louis Vuitton. It's pronounced Louis Vuitton. The N on the N is silent. It's not pronounced. This shows you how unsophisticated these sugar babies are. They think that they sound sophisticated, they're not. A lot of them are very bougie and ghetto. So you got all of these young black girls out here watching sugar baby videos, thinking that they can emulate and copy these sugar babies. And really, they're just a piss poor version of a prostitute, okay? They think by watching a couple of videos about sugar babying that they can get out in these streets and demand that men pay them motherfucking money for their cat. This video that I'm about to show you has gone viral. This is a brand new video of this young girl um, coming over to a group of guys wanting to do a train on her and she wants to charge them $25 a piece in order to run a train on her. This is how you sugar babies are really looking out here in these streets. Nakers are sitting here recording you goofy bitches and making y'all look like complete fools out here. Everybody pays. I do. You know who you talking to? Ah! 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 
to something. Do you make money? No, you don't. Don't come to my head. 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 Don't come to you're not understanding what I'm saying to your dumb ass. Why would I pay 25? How old are you? How old are you? Not only do sugar babies need to be worried about not getting paid or getting paid too little, they need to worry about their very life and existence being snuffed out by a crazy sugar daddy. Okay? These men do not fucking love you. And if you become an inconvenience for them or they don't want you anymore, bitch, be glad if they just don't call you back anymore. Because a lot of them will fucking toe tag you. This young lady here was only 18 years old, found stabbed to death by her sugar daddy in an attack so brutal she could only be recognized by her tattoos. He mangled this young lady up. Okay? Mangled her the fuck up. Here's another story. Missing sugar baby, 23 years old, found dead after she traveled to meet a man in a park. Okay. And before then, she was online boasting about having relations with older men before she mysteriously vanished in Salt Lake City, Utah. And Utah is a relatively safe place. Okay. So if the white sugar babies are getting this kind of treatment, what do you think is happening to the black ones? OK, what do you think is going on with the black prostitutes and sugar babies? A lot of these sugar babies are not going to tell you how they're really making their money. Currently, the going rate is 30 to 40K to be someone's human toilet for the weekend. A lot of people feel that that is not enough and others are going ahead and doing what's being asked of them. A lot of people in the sugar baby world want to swear up and down that they're not prostitutes and they're different from prostitutes. I actually have more respect for a prostitute because at least she's going to admit what she is. These sugar babies are so fucking delusional that they're going to sit up here and act like they better than prostitutes when in reality they're doing the same thing. Okay, and you have quite a few sugar babies admitting to being a madam. Now, you know what a madam is? A madam is a female pimp. Okay, she's going to get her girls to do jobs for her, and you're going to run that money right back to her, okay? That is not woman's empowerment, okay? That is women using other women for financial gain, okay? That is called sex trafficking. I'm a madam, okay? I don't play no games. Baby, I've had girls working for me, okay? Like with the sugar baby stuff, I've had girls, I've used to put girls on money and they gonna come bring me my cut, do you feel me? Some disturbing new details about a sex trafficking sting in Coral Springs. Two young women are now facing federal charges in connection with this case. They faced a judge today and local tense Laren Livingston is live with an update on what happened in court. Laren. Take a listen to this. You're on my time. If you're not making money, what the expletive good are you? That's what one of these women is accused of saying to these girls from time to time. Another one of these suspects is said to have pointed a BB gun at one of these young girls head during some sort of an argument. Now the feds say these two women pimped out two 15 year old girls for sex across Broward and Palm Beach counties until an undercover operation led them not just to these traffickers, but to these underage girls. So a lot of these sugar baby madams are highly intelligent, quite cunning, um, very cutthroat and also very cold hearted. They don't give a shit about your feelings. All they care about is if you are profitable and they can make money off of you. And a lot of times these madams are not going to tell you the full truth as to what these sugar babies want from you once you get there. A lot of times there's going to be drugs there. There's going to be alcohol there to lower your ambitions, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to be able to make the right decisions. Okay. If you're making the right decisions, you wouldn't be in this position to start with. But if you find yourself in that position and you're watching this video, yeah, you need to leave 
before you end up doing things that you regret later. So some women have unfortunately had horrific experiences where they were led to do the porta potty stuff without being informed beforehand. And it's really screwed with their mental state, but it's good that they have shared their experiences because it could prevent other Instagram models and S workers from going through the same thing. One Instagram model had said, Hi, Auntie Ama, please keep this a secret for me in the name of God. I realized I had to let it out when I saw some people air their views on other platforms. I'm also a part of the ladies who have been abused in Dubai. I met a lady on Facebook who happens to travel there a lot because I saw pictures of her on the desert and also when we started getting familiar through Facebook comments, I inboxed her and we became friends from there. She told me later how she makes money by going to Dubai and she just sleeps with one person to make money and buy clothes and perfume to come and sell but I told her that she can take me there whenever she was going. I told her I don't have the money but she told me she will pay for me and I pay her back on our return. We have gotten so close now she trusted me. Hmm, Auntie Emma. The very day we went, we didn't go to a hotel, as she said. We went straight to one big house that belonged to one Arab man. He was excited to see me, so I knew that he was the man that she was about to link me to. That night, she left for clubbing with the man's friend. He tied me to the bed in a romantic way and asked me to suck his, which I did, but he won't let me stop, and my jaws were coming out. He started beating me and telling me I was going to give him a mouth action for an hour, so I better cooperate because he was going to pay me 18 grand. I suffered, but I did. The next minute, he sat on my face. I thought I was going to smell his ass, so to speak, but he asked me to lick because that's the only way he can I was hesitating till he threatened me with a live snake in the room. I had so much regrets, but I was already there. I licked it till started coming out and then this man asked me to eat it. I really suffered my god. I still have scars on my body from the whips I got from not just eating everything. He brought a huge dog for me to on the and warned that it will chew me if I don't do it well. And that ended my life. He then left to his room and started talking to his friend on the phone. I knew it was about me, but I couldn't understand the language. The following day, my friend insulted me and told me how loose I am, booked a flight for me to come back to Ghana and gave me $5,700. I haven't survived this and it's been almost a year. I'm contemplating on ending my life. I don't know what to do. I reported to the police here to arrest the lady, but they kept tossing me about. One of them told me it was even my fault. And then, this was the last confession from one other influencer. They'd said, I moved to Las Vegas two years ago to be a stripper. Since I'm so and have the biggest plus twos money can buy. About six months into it, one of my girlfriends convinced me to come over to a hotel party with her after Rhino and we could make a couple grand just by sleeping with a guy. So like an idiot, I went. Spent about 45 minutes with my girlfriend and the guy and made 1750. Ever since then, I've been es I charge 2k minimum and am booked a month out, so I'm doing very well for myself. Last month, I met the prettiest girl at Surrender, and she told me how she makes around 15 to 20 grand per week traveling the world with princesses, monarchs, and other royalty. I asked her how I can get in, and she told me you just have to be down for whatever. Now, I like I've slept with four guys at one time. I enjoy kicky stuff. So I thought to myself, I'm perfect for this. So last Wednesday, she calls me and asks me if I want to make 12 grand for three days in St. Tropez, but tells me it might get a little weird. I was like, how weird can it get? And three hours later, I'm on a private jet with three girls headed to St. Tropez. I'm not going to say who we met up with, but let me tell you, we get on a very, very, very nice yacht and it's us four and about 15 to 17 guys, easily over the age of 50. Soon as we walk in, they tell us to get and start playing with ourselves. So we start playing with our toys and there's only a few guys in the room with us watching this and all of a sudden this guy started peeing all over us and then tells me to open my mouth so he can in it. I'm effing flipped and it went crazy. Like who on people? I immediately tell my friend I want to get the hell off this boat but they told me I have to wait till we get back to port and if I don't participate I'm not getting paid and have to find my own flight home. The stuff I saw these men do to these three girls was insane. From getting all of the men on the boat to some of the men defecating on the girls and peeing in their mouths. I couldn't believe what they were doing. Now I'm at the airport wondering what the hell I'm doing with my life and waiting to get back to America. If you meet a girl and she makes over 10 grand with one client, you know to stay away from her. Yikes. If you know a girl making 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 off of one client, you already know what she's fucking doing. They're hitting up these girls in their DMs, offering anywhere from 30k to 1 million dollars to help them live out their wildest sexual fetishes. Including, and the one that's got the most attention, is defecating on their face, chest, or in their mouth. These guys are so rich, hate their wives, and bored with life, they are willing to pay anything for their crazy sex. 
for their crazy sex fetishes and i was crazy enough to expect the money i've had to be gang banged and bukkake'd i don't even know what that is bukkake is when multiple men ejaculate on your face by over 20 saudi royalty at once 20 saudi royal men gang banging and bukkake you on your face for some money made 40,000 in two days so it was made 40,000 in two days I don't even know what that is by over 20 Saudi royalty at once made 40,000 in two days so it was worth it hmm $40,000 doesn't that sound familiar it's because this is a dollar amount that a lot of sugar babies love to brag about their sugar daddies giving them and think about it if billionaire Saudi princesses are hiring top-notch Instagram models for them to run trains on, for them to cover in semen and feces for $40,000. What the fuck makes you think this relatively average-looking girl is getting $40,000 for doing nothing? A lot of y'all wannabe sugar babies are absolutely fucking delusional, okay? And don't know when the wool is being pulled over your motherfucking eyes, okay? The whole sugar baby lifestyle is nothing more than a plot to get younger and younger girls involved into the sex industry and human trafficking, all right? They use terms such as sugar baby and allowance to make it sound innocent and sweet. But there's nothing innocent or sweet about what's going on here. This is a grown ass woman who's getting paid for her sexual services. Point blank, period. Ain't no man going to hand you no 40,000 fucking dollars and you're not doing anything when he can hire a top notch Instagram model and do whatever he wants to her. I've literally been pissed on and shitted on so many times. I just don't understand why they like it. After she puts in bracket, after the third time you get shit on you. After the third time you get shit on, you get used to it. I've had to have sex with a male German shepherd dog in front of them. Chey! Bestiality. Jesus is Lord. I've literally... Oh yeah, she said, I've had to stick numerous objects in my ass and their asses as well. I heard that they stick live salmon up their ass. They're sticking live fish up their ass. Okay? God, what is this world turning into? And we'll expect you to do so as well. Live salmon up a man's ass and they like it. <laughs> and she said, I've got paid to eat shit. And you guys thought two girls and one cup was bad. I've got paid to get beat up. I even had to stick a live salmon mm -hmm, in some 65-year-old man's ass. I've had sex with their 14-year-old boys to make them men. Next two guys take a little longer, maybe seven or eight minutes to do the same. Now my face just glazed. I hear all three walking out laughing and the servant comes in to tell me not to clean my face takes my hands and walks me to the shower. I thought it was done. Nope. While in the shower, my three guys came back in and literally started peeing on me. My boyfriend is into golden showers, so it was nothing for me. They basically clean my face off with their pee. Ten minutes later, I finally get to wash off, and that was it. We sat down after we washed off and had a great dinner and drank some and, drank and did some more blow. Throughout the night, different guys in groups of one to four grab us and take us in the room and have sex with us. I wasn't bad at all. The next night, though, is what really got insane. Wait, so after these people done peed all over you and came all over your face, y'all sit down and have dinner like it was nothing? This is crazy. The next night, though, is when it really got insane. After all day out of... All, after all day out at the sea and sex, the servants let us know that tonight is the most important night to make sure we look our best. Three coming in the room, only one does. He has sex with me and he comes all over my face again. And then he pops and squats and poop all over my chest. And when he was pushing it out, it literally it, it became liquefied and got in my face and mouth. I started instantly to pop up and start throwing up everywhere. He grabs me by my hair and slaps me so hard and tells me not he's not finished. But I could not stop throwing up since I had poo in my mouth. 
with his broken English, he told me that if he doesn't finish, then I don't get paid. Right then and there, I never missed my boyfriend more. I just wanted him to hold me and cuddle me, and I couldn't take it. So all of so all of Sunday, I was saluted from everybody, secluded from everyone else, fed only once, and dropped back off at the dock with everyone else. I was notified I would not get paid my thirty thousand old due to the fact I didn't follow through. I don't even care. I still made ten k, but I don't see how these girls do that. It's like having sex with Chewbacca and his pissing and shitting on you after. This business is not for me. Why would you put... Girl, you already had it in your mouth. You might have went with a... <coughs> if you are serious of meeting and you are interested, I am looking to bring you for a weekend. You will receive a round trip first class ticket through Emirates and I would also give you a sum of 30,000 USD. She replies, I do not know what to say. You surprised me. I like, to be honest. I like that. She continues, do you think your friend would come? We can have an orgy. I will have to talk to her. She is working now. Would you do it though? We have never done it. Nobody has offered it to us before. It's very tempting for the money. Got her. Okay, so now he knows that she's keen. It continues. This is the same chat. They're now on WhatsApp, but now we're getting into the real stuff. I want to to masturbate my camel and I shit on both of you. You have very strange tastes. Notice she doesn't say no. He says, don't judge me. She's clearly very apprehensive. She said, do you not like normal sex? It's for us, it's weird. And you know, it's all new and difficult. There are very crazy things, blah, blah, blah. But if you think she says no, you've got another thing coming. Further down the chat, he went her down and say, and then she says tell me what kind of fetishes uh, fetishems <laughs> and tell me what exactly what you want me to put in the contract we will do anal shit piss and masturbate my camel and then she's like oh god you mean I have to do it with the camel he replies like it's just like it's nothing only masturbate <laughs> then she replies Okay. Right. Exhibit B. This guy obviously sends the same message of, you know, 30,000 blah 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 to another girl. She says, of course I'm serious. I can fly out this weekend. And bear in mind, these are not random girls. These girls have a following. He says, you are aware why I want to meet. I'm not stupid. Wink. Okay. So now they're on WhatsApp and he hits her with, yeah, I can do that. Are you okay with anal and masturbating my camel? He says, I could do anal. Do you invite a lot of girls trying to kind of just not address what he just said about the camel? Refusing to let it go, he says, and my camel, he is trained like it makes it any better. She says, I'm open-minded though, so I don't think I'll disappoint you. And then he just simply replies, show me photos of you. And then just like that, bang. Got the nudes. He confirms, he said, let me check. Are you okay with my fetish? Remember, fetish, shit, and camel. Yes. No worries. Exhibit C. This one said, I want a new car, an apartment, or something if I'm not living with you. And of course, shopping money. Maybe 40000 a month? You're giving me a lot just for five days. I feel like that's reasonable. I'm a very pretty girl and I'm very classy, so I'd be a good look. Jeez, it's painful to read because it's literally like describing yourself as a product. And after that, he replies, you'd be enduring a lot of fetishes, whatever, to please my man. So this is the girl. Obviously, I'm not going to show any names. Then exhibit D. Now this one's interesting because it starts off by, you know, after he says that, come with me to Cannes or Paris. If you're interested, I'm willing to fly you for four nights, get a round trip, first class ticket, and I would also gift you a sum of 20,000 USD if you fulfill my fantasies. She hits him back, you know, straight up basically saying no. Oh, I don't do those, but I'm sure Instagram has ruined everyone's perception of females. I work in a hospital, so I can't take off easily. And two, I don't go on fantasy fulfilled vacations with someone I don't know. Sorry, my apologies. So you think, you know, that's that kind of girl. Ain't no way it's gonna do something like this, right? So they keep on talking, you know, it's, this goes on for a couple of days, so she hasn't closed her mind off to it. And then we get this. I have one more request. I can gift double. She says, what is it? And bear in mind, this is after she's basically said yes to the trip and all of that. I have a dying camel named Ghost. He is very horny camel, but is trained to be around beautiful women. Would you give him oral? Hell no. Why must you say hell? Are you crazy? Lol. What if you do it with your hands? He behaves and dismisses fast. Oh, why am I doing this video? This is so good. Ugh. Nope, I'm happy to do everything else except that. Firm, right? Firm. Okay, I gift you 20,000 more and you only have to do it with your feet. How would I do that? How big is your camel? She's definitely thinking, damn, only the feet for 20K. He's huge. 
35,000 in total dollars? Yes, send me a selfie. It's a, yeah, you see, this is what I'm saying, like, you know, 80K, I'm not gonna show the name or anything. Bruh, and this website has 78 pages of this. And each page has like, what, 10 pages? exposed things. And then on top of that, there's videos of these Instagram influencers that are basically outlining what they've agreed to. Hi, my name is Aliana Luciana Gonzalez and I'm 20 years old, 26 years old. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. In Dubai, I will have a STD check and Mr. Ali too. After that, we are having unprotected sex. I will also, um, uh, his virgin brother who is 13 years old and I will let him uh, lick my p and okay do we all just hear the same thing 13 year old virgin brother hi so I am agreeing to some sexual activities such as anal ram job coprophilia and golden showers coprophilia right now what you need to know over here Copophilia, a marked interest in excrement, especially the use of feces or filth for sexual excitement. Hello, I understand your terms on prophilia and the statue, and I agree on it, so let's meet up. A lot of these sugar babies, when they get sick and tired of being a sugar baby, now you see all of them online talking about how to find a husband, how to make your sugar daddy marry you, and how to get this and that. See, they want the legitimacy and the respect of being a respectable housewife and mother and all that stuff. But little do they know that being a sugar baby pretty much puts a scarlet letter on their back and pretty much labels them a prostitute for life. A grown man who's respectable does not want a prostitute as a wife, okay? He's not going to pick you. If you're a sugar baby trying to get out of that life, my advice to you is to go to your grave with that secret. Don't motherfucking tell a soul that you were a fucking sugar baby or a prostitute because they are not going to want you, okay? He's going to look at you in disgust. Matter of fact, most men are going to look at you in disgust. No amount of hot showers, no amount of bleach baths is going to wash away all of those terrible memories. If you're a woman who's dealing with this type of trauma um, from what you've done in the past, all I have to say is this. Um, we can't change what we did in our past, but we can certainly change what we do in our future. And you can certainly change on what you're doing right now in the present. And if you are drowning your sorrows away with blunts in Hennessy, that is not going to cure anything, okay? Those thoughts, those memories are always going to be there haunting you and affecting any sort of positive change or relationship that may come in your future. So what I advise you to do is go seek out therapy, okay? I know a lot of black women are like embarrassed or ashamed to get a therapist, but there is a lot of therapy classes that could help benefit you greatly, okay, and put you in the right frame of mind so you can go about your life, okay, because if you are constantly looking in the rear view mirror backwards while you're driving forwards, it's not going to work. You're never going to pay attention to what's ahead of you. So in conclusion of my video, all I want to say is this. I'm not slut shaming anyone or anything like that, but um, I'm going to use my platform for good and I'm not preaching the gospel of prostitution over here. OK, so if you're offended, oh, well, OK, I don't give a shit about your feelings when there's girls out here getting killed because they're trying to get in this sugar baby life, sitting here doing long prison sentences, catching STDs, all kind of fucking bad that outweighs the good, okay? So no, you ain't never gonna shame me in speaking the truth.